Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with ReZero season 2 episode number 10. Um, in the previous episode we got to see the witches uh, whom we have like only heard about before but for the first time we got to see the witches and not all of them, uh, three of them. Uh, that is uh, like I think Pride who was called Typhon as far as I can remember, uh, Wrath who was Minerva and uh, gluttony which was daphne uh, i think these were the names and obviously we know uh, envy that is uh, satella and greed that is echidona so like we've already f uh, seen five of them so two of them are left uh, for us to see so yeah uh, like like, like uh, i don't know like let's see like they'll probably uh, reveal them later on uh, in either this part or in the next part that is going to be coming up uh, anyways so yeah uh, the previous episode was quite uh, great we got to uh, some not some a lot of information and new information about the beasts like those uh, bunny the, the great rabbit uh, the white whale and the cobra or the snake uh, I think I can't remember the the like his name perfectly but it was something the snake the great snake or something anyways so uh, these guys we got to know about and uh, also another thing uh, we got to see in the previous episode was uh, like we got to see Satella. Uh, I don't know if that is like uh, she came there because of jealousy because she's envy. I don't know but we'll probably get to see that in this episode. So yeah let's get started with uh, episode number 10 of ReZero season 2. Alright I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. All right, I'm starting the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna bite off. <laughs> Wait, what? They got... Oh no, you have to reset again? Oh lord... God damn... Well, time to reset again. What can I say? Like, oh god, like... Yeah... Oh my god, yeah, these, like, we, we've seen them in the opening. They enter. Oh, so they're like, some kind of vessel? Oh no, but like he has to reset otherwise like Rem, uh, Ram will be like remain dead or whatever. Oh my god, <laughs> this girl like I'm talking like I'm talking about Satella. Oh god. Damn, the... What the hell? They're like suicide bombers? What? God damn, like... Okay, well... <laughs> oh no... Okay. <laughs> it's talking about rim. <laughs> okay. 
Oh no! Oh god, god he, she's envy! What the hell are you saying, Subaru? Oh my god. Like, here's a problem, like, Subaru's written by death is from Satella, so he's pissing him her off, so... I don't think this is a good idea, like, he has to go back and you need, like, Satella's power for that. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, this is a problem, like, this is the most problematic thing. Oh no. Oh my god. This is like Itachi's uh, infinite Tsukiyomi, like, <laughs> oh my god, like in a different dimension. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Well, I think Satel is probably going to bring him back again. Like, obviously. Okay, let's see. I've heard that she look, looks a lot like Emilia. Yeah, she kind of looks like her. But her eyes are more like Echidona's eyes. Okay. Oh great. Oh my god. Well. Got the trauma. Well, that was not uh, Emilia, that was Satella. But they look a lot alike, that's why. Oh, their eyes are also like the same. But. Oh no. Well, he can't say what what else like is is he supposed to do now? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what happened to him? What? Um wait, that's like Like there's something in play here. Yeah, like one time he's hostile, one time he's not. Yeah, kind of. Mm. <laughs> yeah.
Yep. <laughs> Ten favors. Well, like that's still less considering that is RAM. <laughs> many conscious victims memories I was able to bring back more than uh, on left verify the memories wait a minute victims Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, what is this? Someone like sealed or something? Yeah, someone is sealed. Who is this? It's Yuzu. Isn't it? It's a memory. Oh, okay. Apostle of Greed That is what I've written in the contract that binds us Office of Reason Mayor Wait a minute Okay, it's a bit confusing but... Yeah Mental fell meant to fulfill said man, which is dream. Wait, the clones? First resume mayor. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like guess that, but. Bodies are built upon course of artifact produced by magic. Given physical hmm. No, it's not like the same, but I don't know. Add some memories and knowledge. Oh, well, that's some high level. She said resume is body with her own being. And each time a body could Well but Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh so Yeah, like she's like dead now, pseudo dead. In perfect form. It's insufficient vessel.
Oh, so it is. Hmm. One of the first four copies. Oh. So is she like changed the body or like her soul? So this is where you were created that way. Yeah. Oh, apostle of greed. So like, because she made that contract with Egitina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of like the contract. So strand of hair. Oh, oh, it was not that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, was, I thought that it was like that, that handkerchief, so no. Oh yeah, like... Okay, so... Wait a minute! Yeah, so I kind of yeah, got what was happening. Like I was a bit confused at first, but Bilma. Oh, okay, by names. Yeah. Wait, after tomorrow, what? Okay. Oh my god, yeah, all of these happened. <laughs> mean things what <laughs> yeah um uh, i don't think fairies are evil Pix oh no they're mischievous yeah but
Hmm. Well, <laughs> what can I say? Okay, so I'm sleeping everyone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just sleeping. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, Elsa is coming there. Oh my god. Like problems here and there like like in every branch of path. Like there is one problem sitting waiting for Subaru to just Oh yeah, Ryuzu knows like Well, that's a problem like Elsa is pretty strong oh yeah Echidona is here okay so oh wait a second it's Garfield Um, no. Yeah. God damn. Um, calm down. But rush. Um Oh god, Subaru is like done with everything. Subaru is just like, yeah man, I, I know everything you're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. So what's he going to do? What? Wait, what did he do? Yeah. 
Um, he knows a lot. God. What the hell are you saying, Garfield? Um. God damn. Oh god. Super room. Damn room. Man, like. Oh. Well, that that was like a good. <laughs> Garfield's like what the hell? Oh my god. That that was a good like retort. Like that was like something. Yeah, I know hell. Oh, there's more. Okay. We should. Oh. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Um, we should probably hurry because Elsa is coming. Oh god, that was a death flag. Okay, so Subaru is like... Staying here alone. Oh yeah, Beatrice is here. Okay, so like you have to like... He has also to convince Be Beatrice now. And he has that like... He has to say that word. So that she can be convinced. All ironic. Wait, what? What? What is happening here? Like, okay, I'm not so big brain, so, <laughs> so like. I can kind of get what is happening, but still, I can't predict, like, like the thing with Beatrice, at least, like, what is she, like, like her, like, there's a lot of mystery surrounding her, I hope that the next episode answers my question, like, this question regarding Beatrice is, like, always there, lurking around, and... We'll probably get to know in the next episode anyways so okay so let's talk about this episode there was quite a few things in this episode and i have to say like uh, i was a bit confused and all like all of these things kind of happened but still i got the point that like the main thing that um <coughs> was talked about in this episode so like like uh, let's talk from the beginning like in the beginning we see like uh like it left off in the previous episode where like satella came in and like we see garfield and uh subaru running away and all and we get to know that rem and all like all of the others emily and everyone were like swallowed by the fog so like i don't know if like that's probably like that means that they were killed and obviously subaru had to reset like otherwise there's like no point so like then we kind of got got a glimpse of, of like um what is that um garfield and like he had the uh, stone and uh, also the right to like order all of these yuzu clones so so yeah so that happened and all of this like they tried to stop satella and all but and uh, but obviously they were unable to do so and Subaru here like does a thing which I think he probably shouldn't have did because it was too risky first of all let me uh, like say what I'm going to say like um, 
like Subaru's power is the only thing which he can use like he doesn't have any supernatural power he's not well trained enough and like the only thing he has is that return by death which is given to him by Satella now he was facing off against Satella so pissing her off I think was not a good idea because like like I don't know the particular of how the power of Satella works like whether it is something that he, she had already given to Subaru and won't be able to take it back or like it is something like yeah she has like because she is uh, with Subaru and she is like she loves Subaru and she uh, cares for him uh, she is giving that to Subaru and if like she gets pissed off or she changes his mind she can't like take that back I don't know what nature of power that is if it is a former one that is she has like given that power to Subaru and she, like can't take it back and it is now Subaru's to use then it is it was fine but like I was a bit concerned at that moment because like she said uh, Subaru said that yeah like uh, I, like the person that the, the first person who I got to hear uh, the confession was from Rem she like he um, like tell, told uh, like uh, like the episode number 18 like uh, that happened in the first season Rem's confession and then he also said that the first and second place in my heart are already taken and even if I was like to appoint another person I would have like choose chosen Ekedina not you now that is like what can I say like that was I think that was a lot risky because number one Satella is the witch of envy the envy or the jealousy part portion of the like, thing in human that we have the emotion is obviously a lot more uh, like regarding her that was that's the first point and the second point is like the power is given to him like the return by death power is given to him by Satella so like all of this like the mixture of these two like made it quite risky so like that kind of thing uh, I don't know like <laughs> like it was a bit risky and like as far as I can say I don't know like if like something else is like the thing but I think it was a bit risky move for Subaru but still like he like it was okay in the end and like when uh, the fog kind of consumed Subaru uh, we get to see like he experienced like uh, the other people who were consumed by the fog their memories and like uh, <laughs> like that kind of like and he was in a trance and uh, Satella was saying I still I still I love you I love you all of these things are happening and it was like uh, on and on again and again and then like he was forced to stab himself in the throat and took a, like uh, like snatched the wheel away and we probably get to see Satella for the first time and yeah he she looked a lot like Amelia but there was a bit of difference first the first difference that I saw between Satella and Amelia was like Emilia's face is quite rounded like her like design of her face is a bit like roundish and her eyes are also kind of like roundish but like uh, I, I kind of like saw that Satella here like her face is a bit what can I say like a pointy uh, and like her eyes are a bit like thinner and like her eyes look a lot like I think uh, I, I didn't like this thin kind of eyes not like Amelia so otherwise they were a lot similar but like the structure of Amelia is a bit roundish the face structure and but uh, uh, Satella's face structure is a bit pointed pointed um, like we did not get to see it properly <coughs> so I might be wrong but <coughs> we'll see later on I hope that uh, they show Satella properly uh, next time so yeah that was what happened and super obviously all with all of these um, what can I say these uh, problems and all of this thing kind of broke down again like it's like it's normal for him to break down like uh, he has gone through a lot and like Garfield here is like uh, I don't know like here as far as I could understand like Garfield was faking the like uh, his happiness or whatever uh, when he met this time uh, prior to meeting him in the forest later on so like uh, then uh, like uh, Subaru got that information from uh, those like when he was in the fog and uh, from Satella's one of the victims that like someone is like being kept here 
in at that place and he went there and found Ryuzu and <clears throat> like we get to know here like what is the deal with Ryuzu like we understand that uh, one thing we get to got to know here is like the thing Ryuzu is like it's mainly because of Ekidona like she is kind of like an experiment for Ekidona and like the whole sanctuary is also kind of it but like being like this because of the experiment failure uh, Ekidona was unable to possess or like take the vessel for herself and be immortal but uh, like they're still like continuing the ritual or like the tradition of it and uh, the real Ryuzu is like sealed uh, like that so here's one thing that um, here Yuzu says that just a sec um, yeah uh, the apostle of uh, well, Ekidona ah, Subaru is the apostle of Ekidona and that was because of that uh, DNA of Ekidona's DNA him consuming it symbol of uh, okay here she says did which not bestow upon you a symbol of her apostlehood like I first, I first thought like that was the contact with the handkerchief but no apparently not and that was like uh, like you have to like possess a part of her body that is a part of her DNA anything fingernail hair whatever and super consumed those fluids or whatever <laughs> it gives and uh, okay uh, and let's see just a sec yeah and here it is like uh, she says that whoever has this apostlehood can um, like uh, give orders to Ryuzu's to their all of the Ryuzu clones so here Subaru says so did Garfield also like enter the graveyard and undergo the trial like he was giving orders before okay let's let's see I was kind of like uh, overwhelmed at this point so like I kind of missed what they said so let me see again Okay, she nods her head. Ryuzu san, don't tell Garfield that I'm at the soul of greed, okay? Yeah. Or that we've been in touch. Okay, uh, I, I think she, he's talking about Egidon and um, Subaru, that is, they have been in touch. Young Gar certainly would have something to say if he knew that a relative of his was meeting with his lover relative of his okay um like i think uh kind of like joked here and like uh like said that uh, kind of like uh what can i say um like uh mention <laughs> like mention ekidona as his lover so his lover here is ekidona and that a relative of his what what relative like i don't get it like super is not uh, garfield's relative what or like is he like is ruzu saying a relative because she, like super also has <coughs> the <coughs> apostlehood so like she's kind of relating that uh like they're kind of like the same so they're she's uh, referring to them as relatives I think that must be it because like like both of them have the right to control the Ryuzu's and all so like she is like saying like in that way as a relative okay that might be it like I was a bit confused I was thinking like what relative is she talking about that was incredibly mean plus it would make me incredibly sinful <laughs> okay, this girlfriend guy has like a, <laughs> he, he has a crush on Rem and <laughs> god damn okay so yeah i kind of got what they were, she was i was confused with the relative thing okay and uh, okay then we we'll see like uh, that kind of talked a bit and ryuzu oh another thing here ryuzu says that just a sec um say young su uh if you do not mind would you ask me the same question again after tomorrow why like is something going to happen I don't know or is she like her memories I don't know like there must be something about this we'll probably get to know this later on 
and then uh, Subaru meets Emilia and talks about the trial and all um, <coughs> and then yeah that was the scene and then uh, Subaru comes back goes to sleep and talks with Otto it's it's dawn and then she writes uh, he writes a letter to Emilia and all takes Patrasche and head starts heading for Roswell's mansion Garfield blocks them and he is like thinking like yeah uh, which which is sent so like this guy must be like trying to trick us or something like we've already known that Garfield kind of uh, suspects Subaru of doing something bad so okay so here it is oh yeah he asks uh, Subaru asks that I won't deny smelling bad but why bring it up now okay here is one thing I also do not understand this portion like why did Garfield not bring that up in the previous night I think Subaru kind of knows the reason but I don't I might be dumb I don't know like like I can't like like what can I say <sighs> No, I, I, nothing's coming into my mind. Like, what might be the reason why he did not say anything at that time? Like, was it because everyone was present there? Or, or like, something else? I don't know. And Subaru, I think, kind of knows about why he did not do that. And he said, you don't didn't say anything about it yesterday. Looks like that was an inconvenient question for you. It's written all over your face. Garfield gets pissed after that. Okay, don't go making me more pissed than I already am. Okay, then he kind of like, like, uh, pushes Subaru. <laughs> and here it is, like, <laughs> Subaru's like, like, I've had enough. Like, Subaru's like, I've had enough of all of this nonsense. And like, yeah, like, I don't give a damn. Like, <laughs> I really love that portion. Like, he's like smiling. <laughs> and all and okay here's another thing I did not get there's a lot of things I kind of got confused a lot Subaru says that you are easy to read I can understand what I to say to get a reaction out of you and Garfield gets uh, angry again now I got a good idea of what gets a reaction out of you and what makes you mad and then what happens here like just a sec. Subaru opens his mouth and Garfield leaves her, him and says that you bastard you were testing me. What happened here? You're insane. What the hell do you think you're risking your life for? Like was Subaru trying to commit suicide? Like no that not might not be it. Like how the hell is, is he going to commit suicide? Uh, like the only way he can kind of do it is like saying that I have uh, written by death power he either he dies or the other people die so like was he trying to do that and Garfield kind of understood that he was trying to do something bad so like he left him I don't know like here's also like this portion also kind of confused me I don't know if they're probably going to uh, explain this later on or like this is something that I'm supposed to get but I am unable to get because I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, okay, if my life was enough, I'd go pretty damn well with the end result. Okay, so... And then uh, Garfield kind of says that, what do you know? What do you know about pain and suffering? Well, <laughs> you're talking with a veteran here, Garfield. So, <laughs> I doubt like you have like experienced a glimpse of the pain that Subaru has like experienced so like and then like <laughs> god damn like and that was a good uh, like uh, scene like super says that I know hell and uh, then like he says something that is like quite cool like he says let me just like quote it like he says that I've seen hell I'm the only one who needs to know hell 
yeah like that's the main thing of ReZero that's what I'm here for like all of these things that he's doing and all like it's only for Emilia and also his friends Rem included um, and all of the others that he cares about so yeah like all the brunt force and everything like he has like you've seen that meme that uh meme that a, like a guy a person is sleeping in the bed and there's like a big guy like standing on top of him and like arrows and fireballs and everything are like s striking him and the other guy is sleeping uh, like uh, nicely and peacefully that's the main thing here like re-zero in a nutshell that meme like that's a meme that if you like <laughs> if you compare meme to re-zero that's the meme like that is Subaru and that is like all of the other characters like sleeping there soundedly because like I'm t talking like uh, each like th the others also have problems I know that but uh, they also like die and all but in the main timeline or the, the real timeline that Subaru is like aiming for huh, where everything is okay like in that main timeline everything is like okay and all of the thing that like all of the brunt and all of the pain, pain suffering everything like Subaru bears it for that one timeline or that one path where everything is okay and in that path everyone is sleeping soundedly and like Subaru is like the only person who is like <clears throat> what can I say like stopping everything from like from stopping them from coming into harm <sighs> damn and like I really like Rizzo season 1 was like amazing but uh, I don't know like this season is so good and uh, like people like there might be some people who say that no like obviously in season season one there are a lot of amazing things like the whale uh, battle geese and all and people might say that season one was better than season two obviously season one was better there was the rim confession scene as well but i feel like this is also at par with season one and uh, like like the character development in this season is immense and we get to lower know a lot of other things as well and obviously because also another reason is because Ekitana is here <laughs> in this season like season 1 had no Ekitana uh, it, it had Rem to counteract that but in this season we don't have Rem so Ekitana kind of came in <laughs> as a saving grace <laughs> like for like people who like um, like the waifu Rem now is like Ekitana, uh, Ekitana waifu so like when both of them like like after Rem wakes up there will be a like a lot of <laughs> what can I say competition and all about like who is the better waifu Rem or Ekitana and I, I know like people also kind of say light novel readers also kind of say that we are also going to love Emilia a lot later on I don't know why because like Emilia is good but the amount of character development of uh, Rem and Ekitana are a lot more than her but people say that we are also going to love her like uh, at, like as much as we love Rem and uh, Ekitana so like probably we are going to see that later on like what happens and all and then then there's like a small epilogue scene where <coughs> Subaru says Petra and Frederica to like <coughs> run away from that place for a small moment and uh, then he confronts uh, Beatrice and there are a lot of things here that I was confused about like who is Beatrice she, she also said that she has a contract with them like uh, the, he, she said that the end of the contract that lasted a long long time and by bringing an end to the end of the end, I will truly be set free this time. Of course. The fact that it has to be with you makes it an ending far too ironic for me, I suppose. Okay, I don't know what she is saying, but we'll probably get to know that in the next episode. Okay, I've been talking for a long time and like I had to like break down each and everything and I was a lot confused a little like a lot of portions in this episode so I kind of like went back to all of those scenes so yeah so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button uh, if you're new to the channel please be sure to subscribe or if you haven't subscribed also be sure to subscribe and uh, be sure to comment down below whatever you want to say about this episode or anything you want to share and if I am like wrong about something some like there was something like a lot of things that I said if I'm wrong or like mistaken about something uh, you can correct me but one thing uh, you should like uh, you guys should like 
keep in mind that no spoilers please like i really love this series and i really don't want to get spoiled so like without spoiling anything if i am wrong and if you think like yeah if i say this it won't be probably a spoilerish type of answer if you want to comment that definitely comment so um, and like like there is a lot of things that i'm confused and i am not like uh, like there's one part of me that is saying that yeah these things would probably be revealed later on but there's also one part of it is saying that yeah uh, it might not be it uh, it might be that i am unable to understand what they're trying to say and like we are supposed to understand something but i am not because like i'm dumb and all <laughs> so yeah anyways guys uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching again i'll be back with a new re episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day